They're coming to the quarter pole, and Rahi's attorney to catch. Rahi's attorney, a three and a half length lead off the far turn. Miami Deco second, Windward Island's third on the outside. Mint Chip, then Bear Path. Musketeer changes lanes toward the outside, still seven lengths off the lead. And Rahi's attorney comes to the eighth pole, chased by Windward Islands, then Musketeer on the outside. Pool play running late, grandstand side. Final furlong of the Elkhorn. Musketeer hits another gear coming after Rahi's attorney, and Musketeer just brilliant chased home by Pool will play, but Musketeer and John Velasquez to take the Elkhorn. Pooh will play home second. It is a multiple horse photo for show. On the turf course for Keeneland's featured ninth race, 26th running of the grade two Elkhorn stakes, number 11, Musketeer. Musketeer owned by Stella Perdomo and trained by Roger Atfield. John Velasquez, the winning jockey, Musketeer, a nine-year-old son of Akatenango, bred in Germany by Gastut Goldsdorf, and covers the 12 furlongs in 2 minutes, 32 seconds, over the good turf on the Hagen course, and is now the official winner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the trophy for today's Elkhorn Stakes, Dr. Owen Williams and his wife, Jennifer, and as the trophy presentation is made to the connections of Musketeer, we congratulate the doctor who today celebrates his inauguration as the 25th president of Transylvania University. The veteran musketeer takes the Elkhorn for the second year in a row for Roger Atfield, trained or ridden by John Velasquez. We'll talk to John first. A perfectly timed ride there, John. You just kind of sat back, and Rahi's attorney had a pretty easy lead. Yeah, no, he did. But, um, but you know, I, I broke from the outside. And I want to make sure to save some on the ground. And they slowed down when we, we came the first time around, and he was a little bit keen behind the horses, and I kind of, I was forced to stay there where I didn't, I didn't want to get to the clear too soon, and they'd be rolling off. And once we got to the quarter pole, uh, at least Sean, Sean gave me a little, a little hand there. He was running out of horse, and I moved out, and uh, he came through. And when, when you when you moved him outside, were you surprised how quickly he accelerated? Well, you've ridden him before. No, not to tell you the truth. I knew he he has that kick because he won here last year. So I was hoping that when I pull him out, he responded just the same way, and then he did. I was very proud of the way he did it. Congratulations, and Roger, just a great job with this horse. You've uh, excelled with p picking the spots for him. He's won this race two years in a row, and looked like a three-year-old after this race, jumping and bucking over there. I know he's a wonderful old guy, isn't he? <laughs> he, um, you know, you look after him, keep him happy. They usually give you everything they've got, and he certainly does. You know. I mean, when when he was in the paddock, he just look he, he just looked great. He looks like he's still ready to go just about every time out. And uh, whenever you ask him to go, especially here, he likes this turf course. He does, he does actually, and and you know I have a great respect for uh, his attorney. You know we've been competitors against right. each other for a long time now, and he beat me in uh, at um, Goldstream just this last race. And um, when I saw him four in front, turning for home, I thought, you know, you sometimes you get to that horse and he's got a little bit more left. But my horse ran great today. He really did. He really did. Congratulations, Musketeer takes the Elkhorn for the second year in a row.